want to know how, Mr. Oshetsky, you are going to get resources into this district to deal with the increase in crime, specifically drugs, and also how and why, when I called Baltimore County Drug Task Force last week, because I am fed up, I'm talking about two specific neighborhoods in this county, the police uh, was precinct office was moved, and at the end of Lynch Road, there is the pump house, and there are drugs, <coughs> prostitution, needles, all kinds of activity. When the police officers were sitting there, you did not have that. The police district uh, commissioner left there, and now it has gone crazy. So I want to know why, when I called Baltimore County detectives, I was told I had to wait two weeks to have a detective assigned to address my concerns. When I had actual, uh, to your point, Commissioner Hyatt, descriptions, addresses, names, phone numbers, drug type, quantity, and the uh, also escalation of crime is due to the fact that the neighbors in that uh, area are too scared to, re to report anything because of, you know why, Mr. Oshetsky? Retaliation. And if you think that those elderly residents are going to call and report, they see you're strongly mistaken. <coughs> but I'm here to stand up, so I called and took it upon myself to report everything I know. I see the specific. And I'm told two weeks to have a detective call me back. And that is uncalled for. Where are the resources to this side of Baltimore County where you were elected from because you are from Baltimore County and the Dundalk area? And these residents are here, we're lifelong residents, and we're here to protect our property values. So you're not political, but. Oh, man, man. 
let's be respectful of everybody. I'm, I'm, happy to, I'm, I'm happy to listen and I'd like to respond. I mean, actually, holistic approaches is the only thing that have been shown to address the, the, the issues. And, and hear me out. We, we, can, we can do the policing approach, which we, we do, but when that person, for example, is in the Department of Corrections, if we don't get them treated and off of drugs while they're in the Department of Corrections, they're gonna come back out and still be addicted. If we're not connecting that person to education or, or um, employment opportunities, they're, not, they're gonna resort to theft and breaking into cars and sheds. And so it has to be holistic. That's the only way we're gonna address it. It has to be in strong support with our police department, but it, it has to be holistic. That's the only way we're gonna get things done. And I, I will just say, in terms of providing the resources, that's why the transparency is so important. And one of the things that we're doing is we're doing this open budget where you will be able to see eventually down to the contract where and how we are spending our money because it's your money, you deserve to see where it goes, how it's spent, on what issues it's being spent. And so that is my commitment. Um, I, 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 as I said earlier, this is the first budget that I've ever introduced and passed. It starts July 1st, but, but no, I am committed to providing the resources particularly, and again, this goes back to being open. When you see the numbers, other people would not come to a town hall and say, numbers are up. They just wouldn't share them. They'd say, we're here to listen, what do you have to say? That's not how this administration, that's not how this county is gonna operate. We're going to acknowledge where we need to do better, and we're going to do better trying to work together. So, but I appreciate your advocacy and your passion. So thank you.